Hi guys, I'm Michelle Wright with Cow Whispers Creative Cards and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well today we're going to make this cute shaker card and we're going to be using the Picture Perfect birthday stamp set which comes from the Picture Perfect Party Suite. It has tons of awesome designer series paper. One side of them is graphic designs and the other one is just imagery. Uh, photographic imagery so many awesome things you can do with the paper and the stamp set and all the embellishments that come with it we're going to change it up just a little bit today this card I made is horizontal we are going to go vertical and as always in the top in the eye below in the description you will find the measurements for this card uh, in a blog post and there's a link there will take you right to it I changed this one up I went with berry burst for the base and dapper denim for the first layer so I reversed those so let's go ahead and get those out of the way for now. Let's bring in my designer series paper. We've got Berry Burst here. Let's go ahead and get that stamped. And I chose to use the sentiment Cue the Confetti. I thought that was so cute. That way, this one is a birthday card, but this way you could do it for basically, let's line that up on my grid paper so we get it straight. You can use it for any kind of celebration. Alrighty, and then I've got some little pieces of confetti that come with it, so let's just kind of sprinkle those around. That's good. So we're done with our stamping. we we'll put that away. Now let's bring in our paper trimmer. I've gone ahead and cut a piece of our window sheet at, and I know it's hard for you to see here, but I've cut it at three by three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in one to one inch and I'm going to use my side over here and then I'm going to bring my blade, bring this down here where you can see it. So I'm using my side over here to one inch and bring my blade to a half inch and go up to two and a half inch. So I can see that here on my trimmer. So I'm going from a half inch up to two and a half inches, okay? And then let's turn this around and we're gonna do that again. Go to one inch and this time we're gonna go from, this is the trickiest part of the whole thing. And then I can see where I went, so I'll just go back here. Two and three quarters over. And if it's not right on, you can take your snips. We may need to do that. So don't panic if it doesn't just come out. It's all going to be fine. See, I got a little edge here. Didn't come all the way down. No biggie. Want to make sure we're going to be using our foam strips. And the key is you want to make sure that you have enough space for your foam strips to go around. Okay? All right. Do as I say, not as I do. I put my foam strips down before I put my adhesive sheet on. That's your first step. Get that adhesive sheet on there. So I'm just going to grab me some adhesive, go around the area I've cut out. Make sure you don't have any gaps. It's important. If you get anything that goes over like that, just rub your finger across it. Go ahead. Put your, there we go. Now, these are already down. These are our foam adhesive strips. And then I'm going to grab a piece and I'm gonna go all the way around, making sure that I leave a big enough gap, or I should say I, I don't leave a gap. I wanna have it extend over though so that I can butt this right up against it. I don't want any gaps. 
for my sequins to come out. Okay. And well, this piece isn't quite long enough, so I'm gonna save it. Let's see if this piece is long enough to go in here. Yes, it is. All right. Now, because there's adhesive on the insides of these, grab your embossing buddy, and you can take it and just run it kind of along the insides, and that'll keep your sequins from sticking. So let's go ahead now. Take our dapper denim, put it down. Got just a small border all the way around. Okay, now because I have not pulled these strips off, I can kind of what I call dry fit this. See about where I want my sequins. Just grab you some sequins. And make sure you put enough sequins in there that you can see. I, I was teaching some ladies and she said, mine doesn't shake. And I said, well, that's because you put three sequins in there. She said, I grew up in the Depression. I'm hoarding. I laughed at her and I said, well, if you want it to shake, you're going to have to put you some sequins in there. That looks pretty good. Oh, see that static? Jumped right up there on there, didn't it? So I'm going to use my embossing buddy. I'm going to do this. And now let's pull those strips off. Love these adhesive strips. Perfect for shaker cards. If you like making shaker cards, make sure you have them. They're thicker than a, a dimensional, okay? So, but don't pull the strips off till you've already used your embossing buddy. Okay. Get that little fella back in there. Just kind of pull them up, puddle them up. A little bit of that embossing buddy powder to catch 22 there we go then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna rub it really good to make sure all my adhesive sticks down how cute is that now let's go ahead and grab a piece of whisper white and cut it down for the inside. And I'll just do that at four by five and a quarter. I like to do that when the cardstock is too dark to really write on. And then, you know what? It needs some confetti in there too, on there too. So let's go ahead, get her down. Then we'll stamp some confetti on it. Bring the party inside, shall we? Whoops. There we go. All right. And I like to do things in three, so let's do one up there and a couple down here. Love it. Fun little shaker card. Isn't that cute? So remember we used a Picture Perfect Birthday stamp set and the Designer Series paper. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. If you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you live in the United States, I'd love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.